born with a mental disability. Mikhail Scutari was abandoned as a baby and placed in an institution for boys with similar conditions. Until three months ago, Mikhail lived here with his friends, but his life has since changed. He's now living with a family, not far from the institution he called home for more than 20 years. Here, in his new life, he's learning basic life skills, including how to tend chickens. He's uncomfortable talking to us and only manages a few words. His new guardians are a farming couple with two grown-up children of their own. They are pioneers in a program that's fostering young adults and children with disabilities and assists them to integrate into the community. It's not been an easy ride, but neither Mikhail nor his family are about to give up. Back at the institution, Mikhail is seen as a hero by his old mates who bombard him with questions about the outside world. Unable to read or write, and with no opportunity to venture outside, they're curious about simple things that we all take for granted. <laughs> Orhei Boys Institution is just one of many for abandoned children in Moldova. The institutions are often big, well equipped and hidden well away from towns and cities. Children with disabilities are invisible in Moldova. They are usually closed in institutional care without proper services, without education, any stimulation, uh, rehabilitation services. Around 80% of children placed in institutions are not orphaned. The placement of children with disabilities or those born out of wedlock has been a practice in Moldova for many years and the government acknowledges problems but blames it on the Soviet era. Unfortunately, we have inherited this, uh, inherited this system of residential care, of these big institutions from the Soviet past, when the, ho the, the only policy existing at those times was if there is a child of adult with, or an adult with, with problems, the only place for, uh, for, it, for him is the institution. This approach is a bad one. We had a lot of uh, research, a lot of uh, proofs uh, showing that the institution doesn't uh, allow the child or the adult to rehabilitate his own capacity, functionalities. And even for, for healthy, for normal children of adults, the institution creates more, let's say, roots rather than giving wings. The United Nations Human Rights Office, jointly with UNICEF, has denounced institutional care. In a report titled Forgotten Europeans, the UN calls for alternative community-based services that enable children, persons with disabilities including users of mental health services and older people to live and participate in the community in keeping with international human rights law and standards. After visiting a psychiatric institution in the Eastern European country, UN Human Rights Chief Navi Pile urge the Moldovan authorities to modernize their methods. My office is exploring alternative ways of uh, addressing situations like this. Institutionalization is not the only answer. Institutionalization is not unique to Moldova. Bulgaria, a southeastern European country, also has many children in institutional care. During the times of communism, uh, it was perceived or believed that we should be building a, a very healthy society. 
And of course, uh, the odds are that not everybody who is born is healthy. So the policy was that institutions were built outside of the major cities where nobody can reach out to the children. And uh, it was stigmatized to have children with disabilities. And uh, it was um, families were basically encouraged to abandon children that uh, have disabilities. The government is now creating awareness and encouraging families to take care of their children, irrespective of their condition. Asen has recently left a children's home in Schumann, northern Bulgaria. He was placed in an institution at the age of three because of slow mental development. He speaks of his life at the home with nostalgia, but there's one thing he's sure of when and if he starts a family. <laughs> Много е важно, след като имаш такъв проблем с детето, трябва да го подкрепяш. Защото това дете от институция на институция, те ще го влачат и то ще, още повече ще са а, турмози. По-скоро, по-добре да е при мене, аз да си го гледам, но да е добре, да се чувства добре. Отколкото в институция. Life in many of these institutions is routine. Many of the inmates are confined to beds. Despite efforts by the caregivers to provide support, individual emotional attention is often lacking. UN studies indicate that confining children with disabilities is detrimental to their health and development. All children suffer from long-term institutionalization because residential care is not an environment that supports what is most important for child development, that is, and that is development of a stable emotional link with one important adult. Visiting these institutions is an emotional roller coaster, a heart-wrenching experience as the children desperately compete for attention. For many of these children confined here, their main goal in life is to locate their biological parents. Asen did manage to meet his mother, but he says he doesn't feel connected to her. The UN is advocating for closure of institutions for children under three, with a view to ultimately integrating persons with disabilities in society, with increased programs at daycare centers for children with disabilities and foster care families like Mikhail's, it's hoped these children will be free to live in their communities. But this is about a fundamental change of mindset in the community, not just the closure of institutions.